Hey guys, if you saw my previous video, I mentioned that in the next video, I will show you how you can easily win more often when you are playing a mage. But in order to make this work, you need your tank to listen to you, so try your best at convincing your tank to follow you. Also, if you are not enjoying this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. In the latest update, they tweaked Clock of Destiny a little bit, and I think that was a good adjustment, because now it will help a lot more in the early game and not have to wait a good 3 minutes before it's useful. At first, it seemed like Lolita wasn't going to listen. But after even the jungler telling her to leave him alone, she finally decided to give in. The enemy has a Franco, and usually Franco players love to hook the buff first, so I'm telling my teammates to have a countermeasure against that. Just checking if Franco is hiding any of these pushes. I saw that our Cho was in a very good spot to ambush their core. That was incredibly smart from him. And even our Lolita saw that. So this is the perfect ambush. I gotta admit, that was a very high IQ ambush from Cho. Silong is already complaining because he got ganked once. Interesting. Their core is very desperate to regain the farm he lost because of the early gank. So we gotta take advantage of that and just keep pressuring him. When the mage and tank roam around the map like this, the game becomes a lot easier. Gotta keep complimenting the good work in order to keep our team's morale pretty high. Silong is seriously refusing to go back to his lane. SMH. Looking at the map, I thought there was a very high chance Gushan would come this way in a little bit. Gotta wait until Lolita is closer so we can stun lock him. As you can tell, I really enjoy when the tank has good map awareness and listen to the pings. It makes the mage job a lot easier. As you can see, when you compliment your team, it just makes them feel a lot more confident about themselves and as a result, the game becomes a lot smoother.
was waiting for Cho to kick Bane towards me. So you wanna be my Shikigami? But he messed up, and looking at the map, the whole enemy team is coming towards the top lane. It's time to bail. I thought he managed to escape, but they had a golly Franco in their team. Look how I'm holding myself back to no KS my team. But this Lolita showed me that's not the best way to play the game, so I have decided to learn from her. Four of us are near the bottom lane, so I thought it should be a very easy turret dive against Claude. Claude only has two options. If he recalls, he's dead. If he doesn't recall, he's dead. I just learned from the best. Franco was 100% dead for sure, even without my ult, so I will save it for a different target. Every decision matters, it doesn't matter if they're small or not. Golly Franco is doing his golly thing again. Cho seems to want to give me a payback for what I said to him just a moment ago. A foolish attempt. Well played. Well played. There are two kinds of
In the early to mid game, the tank and support are in complete charge of disrupting the enemy's farm. If you can accomplish that, you will see that you will win a lot easier and more often.